the modern relationship in today's time is a disaster. You know, nobody's willing to put in the sacrifice, commitment, and the work that it takes in order to maintain a successful marriage. You know, people are getting together now. They're living their life all on social media. They're putting their business all on social media. Nobody's promoting positivity. Nobody's promoting love. Everything is about self and what, what things can be done for me and uh, uh, promoting a fake image of self and uh, money and it's it's just a whole bunch of it's just a it's just a, a recipe for disasters. Not a recipe for long term. It's for the right now. Everything is sped up for the right now. What can you do for me right now? It's almost to the point now where nobody wants to be married. Everybody still wants to uh, have sex, make babies. It's where you have women now is promoting being single mothers. I can do it on my own. I don't need a man. And it's just a whole bunch of stuff. So now we segue that into uh, uh, Corey Hardricks and his wife, his ex-wife, Tia Maori, where they were married for some time. They had two beautiful children, and people looked at that and thought that it was a beautiful black couple. Uh, but there was problems behind the scenes. And when uh, Tia Maori filed for divorce and left, Corey Hardrick cried, and he, he fought for his, he wanted his family, but it was to no avail. And she went on to all kinds of TV, uh, talk shows, talking trash, talking down, uh, 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 basically basically talking down on her husband. And he stayed behind the scenes and he said nothing. Um, she even liked comments when women talked down on him. And it was just a whole bunch of stuff. But y'all remember she went on a talk show and she said this? Marriage was a success. Yeah. I look at it as like a curriculum when you're in college or high school, right? You're learning, you're growing, you're evolving, you're creating. And I was able to create with Corey some beautiful, amazing children. Mm -hmm, yeah. And at the end of that curriculum and at the end, there's a graduation, there's a celebration. Mm -hmm. So that's basically, you know, how I'm looking at it now. And see, with all of this stuff that was coming down, Corey Hargis didn't say much. He stayed in the shadows. He didn't really, he didn't come out and try to defend himself. He didn't say anything about Tia Maori. He just allowed the onslaught. And just imagine you you losing your family. Um, you know, people was ridiculing you on, 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 on uh, social media. He's behind the scenes. Nobody knows what he's going through. But it kind of reminds me of um, uh, Devon Franklin when, um, when he divorced his wife, Megan Good. And, you know, again, people was coming after him and was they was calling him, uh, you know, gay and uh, he posted he posted a picture of him, you know, crying and saying that, you know, he had to take a guy's trip and it got so bad, you know, to the point where he went on, you know, he just he went online and he spoke and he, he spoke about um, discovery and discovering himself when he filed for divorce. And he went something like this. And I'm here to tell you, I have lost a lot of things this year. I know you've heard of the lost and found, but I want to talk about the loss and found. This year, in the past 12 months, I've lost my wife, I've lost uh, employees, I've lost deals. And let me tell you, with every loss, there's been a, a lot of pain. Yet in the midst of that pain, instead of just focusing on what was gone, what was remaining there for me was a discovery. In the process of, of dealing with loss, I was able to find who I really was, find my voice, find my courage, find my strength, find resiliency I didn't even know that I had. So if you're like me, I know you've been dealing with a lot of loss. I get it. And every loss is painful. Yet I want to draw your attention to buried underneath the loss is a discovery of who you are, a discovery of the power you truly have. Now, when I speak to this, uh, Devon Franklin and Corey uh, uh, Hardrick are two African-American men. And what they have in common was what a lot of African-American men have. No real outlet to talk. You know, um, they both handled this with class. They didn't come out and get into a shouting match, an arguing match. They didn't do these things. But they were destroyed on social media by black women. Let's be honest. Um, a lot of people, they went after Corey Hardrick, hard body. I mean, nobody cared about how he felt or uh, uh, even if he was human or not. When you cut him, he bleed. He has emotions and feelings too. Corey Hardricks, um, he recently finally spoke out and spoke up about this and spoke about how he felt and talked about him crying every night for a whole year because he lost his family. But again, he said, being black, nobody cares. 
But these were two men, like I said, that handled it with class. They didn't go and, and try to harm their wives, their ex-wives, none of this kind of stuff. But let's look at what Corey Hardrick had to say in dealing with this situation. You know, it's, it's tough when it feels like you're going through something alone and no one understands and, you know, uh, no one's there for you. And it's just like, you know, you're a man, especially a black man. Like, oh, he's, you know, he's tough. He's strong. But you know, but, you know, it was a couple, a year and a half crying myself to sleep every night. You know, nobody see that. Yeah. Nobody see that. Yeah. You know, like, you know, you, you, you live five minutes away from your babies, you know what I'm saying? Because people who know Corey Harder know that his kids and his family was everything to yeah. him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm stronger than I thought I was. Yes. I'm really stronger. And that by the grace, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, it's like, I'm here and I'm still gone. And as you can see, as you can see, um, Corey, Hard Corey Hardrick said that he didn't have um, the outlets to really express how he felt. He said being a black man, you know, it's in our communities, you know, they tell you that you got to be you got to be strong and basically get over it. But Tia Maury, she had every outlet to go on and talk about her husband and disrespect her husband. She had all kinds of shows that she can go on and talk about she graduating from marriage. And a lot of women ate that up and like like it, like it was okay you know what i mean you it, it was to the point where you had certain comments they saying i still feel like he was the issue he doesn't seem fun at all i mean that's very immature and stupid but that's the mindset of a lot of people out there i mean how, how do you know you don't know Corey at all you don't know to me you know what i mean you don't know uh, uh tia maori um then it then it, another person said i need tia to tell the truth because we all confused another one said oh wow now i need to know the truth she had me thinking he did her wrong. But why? Because you were attributing your bad choices or the, or the men the men that you dealt with to everybody else's situation. What you got going on in your life ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. So the minute a woman says that, that gets a divorce or says something about her husband, she's just telling the truth all the time? They, they, man, listen, our communities are so jacked up. It's so jacked up. I mean, this woman came on there with a hus she had a husband with two children talking about she gra she's graduating from marriage. I've been telling you guys for years online. If you go onto my channel in my community tab, I posted pictures of me and my wife, my children, my grandchildren, my six grandchildren, my four children, and told I've been married for 22 years. And, and I always tell you guys, marriage is not something that's promised to you like life or death. It's something that you got to fight for. Especially when you're uh, uh, black in a climate that's anti-marriage. A climate that's anti-black man. You got to fight for that. You have, to, you have to go against everything that the dominant society is presenting to you. You have to be separate from that. Romans 12, 2 says, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you inherit the kingdom. That's what it tells you. 2 Corinthians 6.17 says, come out from amongst them and be ye separate. But you want to be married and want to be in a spotlight. You want to, you, 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 you want to live your life through social media. So when she's getting a divorce from Corey, why are you online talking about your marriage and your husband? That's none of our business. You're, you're, promoting, you're, you're, you're promoting negativity and you're actually destroying your husband, who is, the, who is also... The father of your children. This is what we've done. We've promoted now single motherhood. We're, we're, we're putting that out to the forefront. We're promoting I don't need a man. We're promoting I don't need to get married. But we still have sex. We still come together and have sex. We still make babies. But we don't need to be together anymore. We don't need to work together. That's what the society is promoting. See, it was a period of time when we were in, industri in, in the industrial age. Where they needed you to come together and make children, to go work in factories, to work in buildings, to work. Now, in the digital age, they don't need you to do that. So they usher in so many other things to socially engineer you to not need each other. But you still have that biological and uh, natural urge to have sex and be together. But they're telling you not to be together. So they're promoting all of this foolishness online. And I've been telling you guys this for years. Those, those are my hardcore followers that's been following me. I told you guys what was coming down the pipe. I've been told you about the agendas that they were having. When they start taking off the TV shows, uh, the family shows off TV. And they started 
uh, ushering the degenerate and underbelly uh, of society to the forefront and normalize that as the standard. So now you get what you get. No, nobody, nobody honors or respects commitment, sacrifice, relationship anymore. No, it's all about right now and what you can do for me. And I'm not worried about the consequences of anything. I can do what I want to do. I can, I can go out here and say what I want to say, throw my body, frisbee my body anywhere I want, and there's no consequence to it. I, don't, I can do what I want. Don't judge me. That's where we at today. And I'm telling you right now, you have, to, you have to be the opposite of what the dominant society is promoting to you for their own financial gain and for them to usher you into the new world that they created. When you have a woman on TV saying, well, marriage is a graduation. But then she's on, but then a year later, she's online crying about being lonely and wanting to go back to her family and doing all, it's all because we're wired, we are naturally wired to be with each other, naturally. But other groups socially engineer you to be separate, to make you believe that you don't. They got you cutting into your body, they got you living through a virtual reality that don't, that don't exist. And all of you at the same time are losing your mind. That's why Romans 12 said you have to be uh, 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 transformed and renewed in the mind. Before you can come into the kingdom. You have to separate from this. You have to recognize what they're trying to do to you. And separate from it. If not, this is what you get. A world full of chaos. Again, I've been married for 22 years. Because I recognize what's going on. And I choose to separate from that. And I choose to speak out against it. Speak out against it. I choose to be an example. A light in a dark room. A clean glass next to a dirty glass. I see what they're doing. I see the agendas. Do you? I'll cut it short right there. If you made it this far in the video, hit that like button. Subscribe to Street Media TV. Um, leave your comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think, man. Stop being on social media telling all your personal and private business. It's nobody else's business. It's nobody else's business. Remember, I love y'all. Till the next time. Peace.